Well, hello to you. Today, we have a Gleam by Tommy Mon. And if you're following along, which I doubt any of you are, excuse me, it's about 95 degrees in this room. You know we skipped the story. We skipped Tony o Kroger. That's just because it's a, it's a really long, by really long I mean like 60 pages, and um, I just didn't have enough time to dedicate like three hours to it this week. So we skipped to a gleam, um, and then we'll circle back for Tony o Kroger, um, hopefully sooner rather than later. So this one... Um, I maybe caught the gist of it, <laughs> question mark. Um, I'm really looking forward to tackling the Magic Mountain and Terrify at the same time because any t every time I think I'm picking up what Thomas Mon is throwing down, I'm smacked across the face, I think. So this one, bear with me. All you smart people out there, comment down below and know, let me know where where I'm going wrong with this one. Um, we have like a musical act, maybe like a um, a, uh, a a show that happens night after night. What what like a residency? I think I think that's what you would call it. And we we're following this Baron Baron. Uh, I believe it's Baron Harry. It doesn't matter. We're following this Baron, you know, powerful man, right? Who, who is really a jerk. And um, night after night, uh, him and his wife, the Baroness, great band, uh, <laughs> go to the show, and we find this Baron. He's like getting drunk and he's like falling for this um for this singer dancer whatever she is of this um of this group called the swathers and you know the baroness is just kind of sitting there night after night kind of watching this happen and she's not really like surprised she's not really angry per se the baron is a jerk to her it's kind of abusive or whatever you could say but uh the baroness is sitting there watching her husband being a jerk with this uh with this dancer and they catch each other's eyes and there's like a little something there and um so towards the end, uh, the Baron tries to shove a ring on this dancer's finger in front of the whole crowd. And um, the dancer shuts him down, and the Baroness runs away out of like embarrassment and anger and stuff. And she, uh, the, the dancer catches up to her and puts the ring in her hand and asks for forgiveness and kisses the Baroness's hand. And uh, that's kind of where it ends with the Baroness wondering, like, did we just have a moment, me and this lady? So that's what I think is happening, which is kind of risque for 1904. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, may, maybe risque in the sense of it being so open. Maybe, probably, I don't know. But, um, I think that's what's going on. And as for the story, yeah, it was meh. Like, it was 12 pages and, you know, took about half an hour to read. Because this is, his uh, stories are going excruciatingly slow for me, reading-wise. Which, again, is why I'm excited and terrified for the Magic Mountain. Because that might take me a month to read at this rate. Which is okay. Whenever, whenever I'm ready to tackle the mountain, I'll make sure I dedicate a lot of, a lot of reading time to it. So, um, I don't know. It was okay. It wasn't the worst story, by far, and it wasn't the best story by far. It was just kind of, just kind of filler. So, it's kind of noticing, you know, the way that uh, 
that uh, like Borges's all of his short stories revolved around knife fights. Thomas Mann stories seem to keep revolving around music and or kind of the um, kind of the upper class, so, sort of like the you know how the Great Gatsby, how it kind of shone light on the upper class. Uh, I'm getting kind of Gatsby vibes by uh, by the this short stories in this book. Which is good. And, I mean, I like Gatsby, but let's face it, there's little chunks of that book that, it's a short book, but there's chunks of it that are kind of a bore to get through. So, yeah. I think that's it for this one, peeps. Uh, a Gleam. Have you read it? Do you, did you like it? Did you hate it? I'm guessing I'm probably the only one in the last hundred years to have read it. I think that's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.